Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I make my creamy hair dress. I absolutely love this recipe. It's an adaptation of a recipe that I found, which I will link below. Um, but I absolutely love it. And I'm done with spending a ton of money on products that don't work for my child's curly hair. Um, so what you see is, this is actually more of like a refined shea butter, the white uh, shea butter. Um, I need You need measuring cups. I'm using a uh, Nutribullet right here to blend it. I've used other things to blend it, but that's the quickest and easiest way and gets it um, whipped really, really, really uniformly. Avocado oil, olive oil. Um, these are all things that I've got from Aldi. This is um, vegetable glycerin, uh, which you see below. I think I ordered that off of Amazon. Um, this right here is olive vera gel. Please make sure you use the olive vera gel and not a juice it is totally different and ruins it this lewisidal liquid this is not necessary i use that as a preservative but you really don't need it when you have the um essential oils in there uh, they have some antimicrobial properties to them for this i'm using lavender rosemary for growth and peppermint oil in there smells fantastic the last thing I also add is some coconut oil. That one is kind of um, warm to room temperature. So I'm adding right now the shea butter, and I told you I use the refined shea butter. Um, to the mixture, I'm adding the uh, aloe vera gel. This is a half a cup of coconut oil. Um, it's just at room temperature, so it's no longer solid. And then you're gonna add a tablespoon of vegetable glycerin a tablespoon of olive oil, and what is not pictured is a tablespoon of avocado oil. Then I add in my essential oils. Um, I put about five drops of each uh, oil that I discussed uh, before, the peppermint, rosemary, and lavender oil. And I add about three drops of the Lewisidal liquid. This is made from radishes and it's um, a natural antimicrobial to extend the shelf life. I put it on the Nutribullet and whip it until it is nice and fluffy. I use glass jars, these ball jars, um, the smaller ones, or sometimes I use with the wide mouth lid so it's easier to get it out, and just pour it, the mixture in there. And then I sometimes store mine in the refrigerator. If you do so, the product will become hard, but if you scrape it out with your fingers, it melts almost instantaneously in your fingers. Other than that, it seems to have a pretty long shelf life. Um, I've had one out that I have not refrigerated for about a month and I've had no issues with it, but sometimes if I make it in bulk, I will store the extras in the refrigerator. This is young Naomi. Her hair is very red. This is um, after I have given her a bath and you see how dry it gets. So in the morning time, I'm just showing you, I use this um, Shea Moisture, it's a silicone free leave-in conditioner and saturate her hair really well. Take down her rubber bands and her braids. She will not keep a cap in her hair. She won't sleep all night with her hair in braids. So uh, we don't even bother with that. We just start over in the morning from scratch until she gets a little bit older because she'll take it all down. So um, I use a leave-in conditioner. I comb it through really well. Um, I'm, it's hard to do it with one hand, so I'm just kind of showing you. But this is how well that leave-in conditioner moisturizes her hair and takes away that dry cast to her hair. And then I will finish it with the um, moisturizer that I just showed you. And it seals in the moisture and gives it a nice, rich, dark color instead of it being that red, 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 dry color that it gets um, when her hair has eaten up all of the moisturizer in her hair. Um, it keeps the curls nice and they stay together. This is her hair fully dressed and curly um, and ready for the day. Thanks for joining Mom Saving Grace. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Have a blessed day.